Plasma, Wikipedia article audio. Plasma is one of the four fundamental states of matter, and was first described by chemist Irving Langmuir in the 1920s. Unlike the other three states, solid, liquid, and gas, plasma does not exist freely on the Earth's surface under normal conditions. Plasma can only be artificially generated by heating or subjecting a neutral gas to a strong electromagnetic field to the point an ionized gaseous substance becomes increasingly electrically conductive, and long-range electromagnetic fields dominate the behavior of the matter. History Plasma and ionized gases have unique properties and display behaviors unlike those of the other states and the transition between them is mostly a matter of nomenclature and subject to interpretation. Based on the surrounding environmental temperature and density, partially ionized or fully ionized forms of plasma may be produced. Neon signs or lightning storms are examples of partially ionized plasma, while the interior of the sun is an example of fully ionized plasma along with the solar corona and stars. Positive charges in ions is achieved by stripping away electrons orbiting the atomic nuclei, where the total number of electrons removed is only related to either increasing temperature or the local density of other ionized matter. This also can be accompanied by the dissociation of molecular bonds, though this process is distinctly different from chemical processes of ion interactions in liquids or the behavior of shared ions in metals. The response of plasma to electromagnetic fields can be usefully employed in many modern technological devices, such as plasma televisions or plasma etching. Properties and Parameters Plasma may be the most abundant form of ordinary matter in the universe, although this hypothesis is currently tentative based on the existence and unknown properties of dark matter. Plasma is mostly associated with stars, extending to the rarefied intracluster medium and possibly the intergalactic regions. Definition The word plasma comes from the ancient Greek P. S.A., meaning moldable substance or jelly, whose usage describes the behavior of the ionized atomic nuclei and the electrons within the surrounding region of the plasma. Very simply, each of these nuclei are suspended in a movable sea of electrons. Plasma was first identified in a Crookes tube, and so described by Sir William Crookes in 1879. The nature of this cathode ray matter was subsequently identified by British physicist Sir J. J. Thomson in 1897. Degree of Ionization The term plasma was coined by Irving Langmuir in 1928. Louis Tonks and Harold Mott Smith, both of whom worked with Irving Langmuir in the 1920s, Recall that Langmuir first used the word plasma in analogy with blood. Mott Smith recalls, in particular, that the transport of electrons from thermionic filaments reminded Langmuir of the way blood plasma carries red and white corpuscles and germs. Temperatures Langmuir described the plasma he observed as follows. Thermal versus non-thermal plasmas Plasma is a state of matter in which an ionized gaseous substance becomes highly electrically conductive to the point that long-range electric and magnetic fields dominate the behavior of the matter. This state can be contrasted with the other states, solid, liquid, and gas. Unlike these other states of matter, Plasma mostly does not naturally exist on the Earth's surface under normal conditions, and must be artificially generated from neutral gases. Plasma is an electrically neutral medium of unbound positive and negative particles. Although these particles are unbound, they are not free in the sense of not experiencing forces. 
Moving charged particles generate an electric current within a magnetic field, and any movement of a charged plasma particle affects and is affected by the fields created by the other charges. In turn this governs collective behavior with many degrees of variation. Three factors define a plasma. Complete versus incomplete ionization. Plasma potential. Magnetization Comparison of plasma and gas phases For plasma to exist, ionization is necessary. The term plasma density by itself usually refers to the electron density, that is, the number of free electrons per unit volume. The degree of ionization of a plasma is the proportion of atoms that have lost or gained electrons and is controlled mostly by the temperature. Even a partially ionized gas in which as little as 1% of the particles are ionized can have the characteristics of a plasma. The degree of ionization, A, is defined as, A, equals, N, I, N, I, plus, N, N, plus N, where, N, I, is the number density of ions and n n is the number density of neutral atoms the electron density is related to this by the average charge state z of the ions through n e equals z n i equals backslash langley z backslash wrangle n where n e is the number density of electrons Plasma temperature is commonly measured in kelvins or electron volts and is, informally, a measure of the thermal kinetic energy per particle. High temperatures are usually needed to sustain ionization, which is a defining feature of a plasma. The degree of plasma ionization is determined by the electron temperature relative to the ionization energy, in a relationship called the Saha equation. At low temperatures, ions and electrons tend to recombine into bound states atoms and the plasma will eventually become a gas. In most cases the electrons are close enough to thermal equilibrium that their temperature is relatively well defined, even when there is a significant deviation from a Maxwell-Lian energy distribution function, for example, due to UV radiation, energetic particles, or strong electric fields. Because of the large difference in mass, the electrons come to thermodynamic equilibrium amongst themselves much faster than they come into equilibrium with the ions or neutral atoms. For this reason, the ion temperature may be very different from the electron temperature. This is especially common in weakly ionized technological plasmas, where the ions are often near the ambient temperature. Based on the relative temperatures of the electrons, ions, and neutrals, plasmas are classified as thermal or non-thermal. Thermal plasmas have electrons and the heavy particles at the same temperature, i.e. they are in thermal equilibrium with each other. Non-thermal plasmas on the other hand have the ions and neutrals at a much lower temperature, whereas electrons are much hotter, T, E, T, N, backslash G, G, T. A plasma is sometimes referred to as being hot if it is nearly fully ionized, or cold if only a small fraction of the gas molecules are ionized but other definitions of the terms hot plasma and cold plasma are common. Even in a cold plasma, the electron temperature is still typically several thousand degrees Celsius. Plasmas utilized in plasma technology are usually cold plasmas in the sense that only a small fraction of the gas molecules are ionized. Since plasmas are very good electrical conductors, electric potentials play an important role. The potential as it exists on average in the space between charged particles, independent of the question of how it can be measured, 
is called the plasma potential, or the space potential. If an electrode is inserted into a plasma, its potential will generally lie considerably below the plasma potential due to what is termed a Debye sheath. The good electrical conductivity of plasmas makes their electric fields very small. This results in the important concept of quasi-neutrality, which says the density of negative charges is approximately equal to the density of positive charges over large volumes of the plasma, n, e, equals, z, n, i, equals backslash langley z backslash wrangle n, but on the scale of the Debye length there can be charge imbalance. In the special case that double layers are formed, the charge separation can extend some tens of Debye lengths. The magnitude of the potentials in electric fields must be determined by means other than simply finding the net charge density. A common example is to assume that the electrons satisfy the Boltzmann relation. Differentiating this relation provides a means to calculate the electric field from the density. It is possible to produce a plasma that is not quasi-neutral. An electron beam, for example, has only negative charges. The density of a non-neutral plasma must generally be very low, or it must be very small, otherwise it will be dissipated by the repulsive electrostatic force. The type of power source used to generate the plasma DC, RF, and microwave, the pressure they operate at vacuum pressure, moderate pressure, atmospheric pressure, the degree of ionization within the plasma fully, partially, or weakly ionized, the temperature relationships within the plasma thermal plasma, T, E, equals, T, I, equals, T, G, A, S, equals T equals T, non-thermal or cold plasma, T, E, T, I, equals, T, G, A, S, backslash G, G, T equals T, the electrode configuration used to generate the plasma, the magnetization of the particles within the plasma. Magnetized, partially magnetized, non-magnetized. In astrophysical plasmas, Debye screening prevents electric fields from directly affecting the plasma over large distances, i.e., greater than the Debye length. However, the existence of charged particles causes the plasma to generate, and be affected by, magnetic fields. This can and does cause extremely complex behavior such as the generation of plasma double layers, an object that separates charge over a few tens of Debye lengths. The dynamics of plasmas interacting with external and self-generated magnetic fields are studied in the academic discipline of magnetohydrodynamics. Plasma with a magnetic field strong enough to influence the motion of the charged particles is said to be magnetized. A common quantitative criterion is that a particle on average completes at least one gyration around the magnetic field before making a collision, i.e., C, E slash, V, C, O, L, L, 1, slash V1, where, C, E, is the electron gyro frequency and, V, C, O, L, L, is the electron collision rate. It is often the case that the electrons are magnetized while the ions are not. Magnetized plasmas are anisotropic, meaning that their properties in the direction parallel to the magnetic field are different from those perpendicular to it. While electric fields in plasmas are usually small due to the high conductivity, the electric field associated with a plasma moving in a magnetic field is given by E equals dash V times B equals V backslash times backslash math and is not affected by Debye shielding.
Plasma is often called the fourth state of matter after solid, liquids and gases, despite plasma typically being an ionized gas. It is distinct from these and other lower energy states of matter. Although it is closely related to the gas phase in that it also has no definite form or volume, it differs in a number of ways, including the following. Plasmas are by far the most common phase of ordinary matter in the universe, both by mass and by volume. Within our solar system, interplanetary space is filled with the plasma expelled via the solar wind, extending from the sun's surface out to the heliopause. Furthermore, all the distant stars, and much of interstellar space or intergalactic space is also likely filled with plasma albeit at very low densities. Astrophysical plasmas are also observed in accretion disks around stars or compact objects like white dwarfs, neutron stars, or black holes in close binary star systems. Plasma is associated with ejection of material in astrophysical jets, which have been observed with accreting black holes or in active galaxies like M87S jet that possibly extends out to 5,000 light years. Plasmas can appear in nature in various forms and locations, which can be usefully broadly summarized in the following table. Although the underlying equations governing plasmas are relatively simple, plasma behavior is extraordinarily varied and subtle. The emergence of unexpected behavior from a simple model is a typical feature of a complex system. Such systems lie in some sense on the boundary between ordered and disordered behavior and cannot typically be described either by simple, smooth, mathematical functions, or by pure randomness. The spontaneous formation of interesting spatial features on a wide range of length scales is one manifestation of plasma complexity. The features are interesting, for example, because they are very sharp, spatially intermittent, or have a fractal form. Many of these features were first studied in the laboratory, and have subsequently been recognized throughout the universe. Examples of complexity and complex structures in plasmas include striations or string-like structures, also known as Birkeland currents, are seen in many plasmas, like the plasma ball, the aurora, lightning, electric arcs, solar flares, and supernova remnants. They are sometimes associated with larger current densities and the interaction with the magnetic field can form a magnetic rope structure. High-power microwave breakdown at atmospheric pressure also leads to the formation of filamentary structures. Filamentation also refers to the self-focusing of a high-power laser pulse. At high powers, the nonlinear part of the index of refraction becomes important and causes a higher index of refraction in the center of the laser beam, where the laser is brighter than at the edges, causing a feedback that focuses the laser even more. The tighter focused laser has a higher peak brightness that forms a plasma. The plasma has an index of refraction lower than 1, and causes a defocusing of the laser beam. The interplay of the focusing index of refraction, and the defocusing plasma makes the formation of a long filament of plasma that can be micrometers to kilometers in length. One interesting aspect of the filamentation generated plasma is the relatively low ion density due to defocusing effects of the ionized electrons. The strength and range of the electric force and the good conductivity of plasmas usually ensure that the densities of positive and negative charges in any sizable region are equal. A plasma with a significant excess of charge density, or, in the extreme case, is composed of a single species, is called a non-neutral plasma. In such a plasma, electric fields play a dominant role. Examples are charged particle beams, 
an electron cloud in a penning trap and positron plasmas. A dusty plasma contains tiny charged particles of dust. The dust particles acquire high charges and interact with each other. A plasma that contains larger particles is called grain plasma. Under laboratory conditions, dusty plasmas are also called complex plasmas. Impermeable plasma is a type of thermal plasma which acts like an impermeable solid with respect to gas or cold plasma and can be physically pushed. Interaction of cold gas and thermal plasma was briefly studied by a group led by Hans Alvain in 1960s and 1970s for its possible applications in insulation of fusion plasma from the reactor walls. However, Later it was found that the external magnetic fields in this configuration could induce kink instabilities in the plasma and subsequently lead to an unexpectedly high heat loss to the walls. In 2013, a group of materials scientists reported that they have successfully generated stable impermeable plasma with no magnetic confinement using only an ultra-high pressure blanket of cold gas. While spectroscopic data on the characteristics of plasma were claimed to be difficult to obtain due to the high pressure, the passive effect of plasma on synthesis of different nanostructures clearly suggested the effective confinement. They also showed that upon maintaining the impermeability for a few tens of seconds, screening of ions at the plasma gas interface could give rise to a strong secondary mode of heating leading to different kinetics of reactions and formation of complex nanomaterials. To completely describe the state of a plasma, all of the particle locations and velocities and describe the electromagnetic field in the plasma region would need to be written down. However, it is generally not practical or necessary to keep track of all the particles in a plasma. Therefore, plasma physicists commonly use less detailed descriptions, of which there are two main types. Fluid models describe plasmas in terms of smoothed quantities, like density and averaged velocity around each position. One simple fluid model, magnetohydrodynamics, treats the plasma as a single fluid governed by a combination of Maxwell's equations and the Navier-Stokes equations. A more general description is the two-fluid plasma picture, where the ions and electrons are described separately. Fluid models are often accurate when collisionality is sufficiently high to keep the plasma velocity distribution close to a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. Because fluid models usually describe the plasma in terms of a single flow at a certain temperature at each spatial location, they can neither capture velocity space structures like beams or double layers, nor resolve wave particle effects. Plasmas in Astronomy and Astrophysics Kinetic models describe the particle velocity distribution function at each point in the plasma and therefore do not need to assume a Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. A kinetic description is often necessary for collisionless plasmas. There are two common approaches to kinetic description of a plasma. One is based on representing the smoothed distribution function on a grid in velocity and position. The other, known as the particle incel technique, includes kinetic information by following the trajectories of a large number of individual particles. Kinetic models are generally more computationally intensive than fluid models. The Vilasov equation may be used to describe the dynamics of a system of charged particles interacting with an electromagnetic field. In magnetized plasmas, a gyrokinetic approach can substantially reduce the computational expense of a fully kinetic simulation. Most artificial plasmas are generated by the application of electric and slash or magnetic fields through a gas. Plasma generated in a laboratory setting and for industrial use can be generally categorized by 
Just like the many uses of plasma, there are several means for its generation, however, one principle is common to all of them, there must be energy input to produce and sustain it. For this case, plasma is generated when an electric current is applied across a dielectric gas or fluid as can be seen in the adjacent image which shows a discharge tube as a simple example. The potential difference and subsequent electric field pull the bound electrons toward the anode while the cathode pulls the nucleus. As the voltage increases, the current stresses the material beyond its dielectric limit into a stage of electrical breakdown, marked by an electric spark, where the material transforms from being an insulator into a conductor. The underlying process is the Townsend avalanche, where collisions between electrons and neutral gas atoms create more ions and electrons. The first impact of an electron on an atom results in one ion and two electrons. Therefore, the number of charged particles increases rapidly only after about 20 successive sets of collisions, mainly due to a small mean free path. With ample current density and ionization, this forms a luminous electric arc between the electrodes. Electrical resistance along the continuous electric arc creates heat, which dissociates more gas molecules and ionizes the resulting atoms, and as per the sequence, solid, liquid, gas plasma, the gas is gradually turned into a thermal plasma. A thermal plasma is in thermal equilibrium, which is to say that the temperature is relatively homogeneous throughout the heavy particles and electrons. This is so because when thermal plasmas are generated, electrical energy is given to electrons, which, due to their great mobility and large numbers, are able to disperse it rapidly and by elastic collision to the heavy particles. Because of their sizable temperature and density ranges, plasmas find applications in many fields of research, technology, and industry. For example, in industrial and extractive metallurgy, surface treatments such as plasma spraying, etching in microelectronics, metal cutting and welding, as well as in everyday vehicle exhaust cleanup and fluorescent slash luminescent lamps, fuel ignition, while even playing a part in supersonic combustion engines for aerospace engineering. Plasmas are the object of study of the academic field of plasma science or plasma physics, including subdisciplines such as space plasma physics. It currently involves the following fields of active research and features across many journals, whose interest includes Common plasmas Hall effect thruster The electric field in a plasma double layer is so effective at accelerating ions that electric fields are used in ion drives. Complex plasma phenomena Filamentation Non-neutral plasma Dusty plasma slash grain plasma Impermeable plasma Solar plasma Mathematical descriptions Plasma spraying Fluid model Kinetic model Artificial plasmas Generation of artificial plasma Electric arc Examples of industrial slash commercial plasma Low pressure discharges Atmospheric pressure Research Research examples Notes